You want a reason for drinking beer? Well, we got five. Yep. So William and I, we have been drinking beer for quite a while now, and uh, how did you put it? We're looking for an excuse to drink beer now? We've got some. Reason. Yeah, an excuse or a reason. Yeah, reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an excuse, it's a reason to so drink beer. It turns out that beer is good for you. Yeah. We got five facts about why beer is good for you. How about I read one, and then you read one, and then I'll read one, and you read one, and then I'll read one. Sounds delicious. <laughs> All, right. All right. One of the first ones is, it may help reduce arthritis <gasps> risk. I, I don't want to get arthritis, so I better start yeah. drinking some beer. So what's it say? What's it say? It says, it? in a recent study in an article in Rheumatism, women who drank three to five beers per week had a 31% lower risk for rheumatoid arthritis a disease that permanently affects women compared to women who uh, abstained from drinking or that wasn't a new sentence compared to women who sustained from drinking okay <clears throat> now you have an excuse to have that beer with dinner thanks science <laughs> okay it's not an excuse it's a reason <laughs> all right reason number two it could help build strong bones awesome yes no, you shouldn't start pouring beer into your morning cereal. <laughs> like milk. <laughs> <laughs> but a glass or two of suds has been linked to better it's supposed to be two words, but uh, to better bone strength and health, according to a study in the Journal of Science of Food and Agriculture. Beer is rich in dietary silicon, which is a key ingredient for increasing bone. Uh, mineral density. Can't decide which brew to buy? Go for ones rich in malts, barleys, and hops, which contain the highest levels of silicon. And those are the ones that we like. Yes. All it's right. Hops. I can do without a little bit of hops. But... Well, in summertime, we've been drinking more hoppy beers. Yeah. Okay. So, reason number three why beer is good for you is that it may prevent kidney stones. Oh yeah. No kidding. Nobody wants kidney stones. N no. Um, around 30% of Americans will have a kidney stone in their lifetime, according to a study in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephology. The nef nephrology. Okay, luckily, <laughs> the study also found that men and women who reported drinking a moderate amount of beer were found to have a 41% reduced risk of developing a stone compared to people who did not drink. So consequently, it it also found that drinking soda increased people's risk by 23%. Just another reason to put down that soda can. Wow. I don't think anybody in this world wants any kidney stones. Mm -mm. Unless people that are into pain, I guess. From what I understand though, it is very painful. I don't want it. I don't want it either. Okay. Reason number four. Yeah, four. Uh, <laughs> It could keep your brain sharp. No way. Yes, women who have one alcohol drink a day, yes, that also includes wine and spirits, are less likely to see a decline in mental abilities and memories as they age compared to the non-drinking uh, counterparts or heavy drinking counterparts. So this goes both ways. I mean, yeah. there's, there's a happy medium. There's, you know, no drink, you don't drink We're, at all or you drink too much. They're talking about just moderate. Just moderate, I guess one alcohol drink a day. Okay. Um, according to a study in the New England Journal of Medicine, looks like your beer sipping grandma had the right idea after all. <laughs> weird. That is weird. <laughs> you know, you always think, you know, they always say, you know, drinking beer kills your brain cells. Well, when you think of beer drinkers, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna flash a bunch of pictures here. Here's what, you know, here's the extremes. None of these things happen to me, ever, I swear. Not that I recall. <laughs> I think some of, them, some of them happened to William. But. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now the last one, the, the number five reasons why beer is good for you is it may boost heart health. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. 
Ah, that's a good thing. So mm -hmm. a large meta-analysis published in the European Journal of Epidemiology. You know, I'm glad you got the big words, man, because <laughs> I would have died on these ones. Epidemiology. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Some smart guys in Europe. <laughs> Found. <laughs> smart guys in Europe. <laughs> My brain is sharp. You know, I've been drinking this. Uh, found that people who drank uh, about a pint of beer a day were 31% less likely to suffer from heart attacks, heart disease, or strokes. strokes. So compared to people who retained from the drinking. So, um, uh, yeah, who 31% less than people who refrained. Yeah. So, yeah, drink some beer, at least a pint a day. Moderately. Well, it says uh, one pint, so a pint is uh, probably a little bit bigger than this glass. Yeah. This is one pint. That whole thing? One pint, nine point four fluid ounces. Oh, maybe it's bigger than a pint. Yeah, that's more. Than one pint, nine point four fluid ounces. Well, it's not by much. So around that much, right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be good. I think it's quite so, a bit. So th there you go. That's that's why we drink beer. Yes. It's healthy. It's good for us. <laughs> Those are reasons, not excuses. Those are good reasons. Yes. All right, so thanks for watching this episode of Mixed In. Cheers. Enjoy one. That's a good beer. Mm -hmm. That's a very flavorful.